Well, hello there. My name is Jeff. The intros are getting worse each video. Um, oh, well, um, this video is super short tutorial. Um, I'm getting the question way more than I thought uh, about how you can have 2D sprites in a 3D game in Godot 4.4 and up, probably. Make them billboard nicely, how to make them transparent, how to make them cast shadow in the world, how to make them look sharp, uh, how to remove the compression, how to make them transparent. I think I already said that, right? All right, you know, you get the picture. I'm gonna show you how to add 2D sprites in a 3D game. Let's go. Uh, yeah, so this is my game and I removed a bunch of uh, props that are all 2D and I'm just gonna show you how to do it yourself. All right, uh, we're gonna add a little brother of Aiden. And I'm going to do that by directly adding a sprite 3D into the world right beside our little fellow over here and I'm going to search for the uh, the texture it's behind me I'm going to uh, drag and drop the PNG to the texture property of the uh, sprite 3d object oh look at that <laughs> all right yeah I'm not sure why is it super Aiden I you weren't supposed to see this why do I have multiple Aiden characters oh yeah for some reason I've got another sprite called player player but this Aiden one is the Super Aiden. All right, yeah, yeah spoiler alert, uh, spoiler alert. There's gonna be a Super Aiden in my game. Let's make it the same size as Aiden by putting four there. And as you can see, um, there are a few differences between Aiden um, and they don't quite look the same. Uh, not only is Aiden Super Aiden, but he also looks very blurry. He doesn't cast any shadow. There's some weird compression going on uh, and it doesn't billboard the same way Aiden does, see? It's not pointing towards the camera. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna click the uh, Sprite 3D node right over here and we're gonna go to Flags. Here we're gonna enable Billboard. And by putting Billboard enabled, it will always face the camera, which is something you might be looking for. So enable Billboard first. And if for some reason the uh, transparent property was disabled, you can enable it uh, so you have a nice transparent PNG. And the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna make Aiden way sharper. Um, let's go to Flex and then Texture Filter and select Nearest. Et voila. There is some weird compression going on. And you guys might not uh, know the sprite the way I know it, but these colors in between, those are not there. Godot made those up. And that's because of compression. Uh, we wanna re-import the Aiden PNG. We want to go to import and we're going to select the compress mode and we're going to go to compress mode and we're going to put it on lossless. The next thing that we want to do is that the lighting of the game also applies to the texture. Uh, what does the official um, description say? If true, the light 3D in the environment has effects on the sprite. See, I'm smart. I knew that. Press enable. It's a slight difference, but now it blends a bit more because of the sunlight in the world. It doesn't have shadows yet. It's pretty hard to see with the billboard enabled, but that's because of the alpha cut setting. Put it on discard. And now we've got a pretty shadow. And that's basically it um, for this short tutorial. Um, one thing that I can show you if I enable my own props again, is that you probably want to put your sprite 3D objects in scenes. So you can also play around with the settings and manipulate it a bit. And it's just easier to manage your, um, your, your props. And in this case, the uh, little bush medium, for some reason it's called bush, uh, which is weird. But these consist of different layers of sprites. So you can do a lot with sprites you can really make a uh, you can fake shadows for example because even though these sprites have the shadows and the shading enabled um, you can also artificially add shadows by just making a sprite super dark and then adding a less dark layer in between and then a somewhat lighter layer uh, in front of it and in this way if i go to the actual game it's so, it's so weird to see a different aiden here uh yeah happy little mistake um also, I'm, I'm working on the AI 
Spoiler alert, different video. Make sure to subscribe if you want to learn more about how I'm going about the AI of the crabs. But in this case, we have like a little cornfield. You can even go inside of it. I can also add code to it. So whenever you hit a sprite, it does a little animation. I'm probably going to add it later on. But therefore, you still have some different depth, some more layers to it, even though it's just like simple 2D sprites. Who doesn't like sprites? Sprites are cool. Look at that. Sprites on the wall, sprites on the floor, even fire sprites. All right, that's it. That's it for the video. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, check out my devlogs if you want to know more about this game. And with that, I see you guys around in the next video or stream. By the way, I stream on the different channel, the orange one. I play silly little games and I make a fool out of myself. See you there. Bye-bye.